Hey, I'm Rina, and this is This Week in Robots. So today I want to talk about Greg. So this cute robot recently joined on stage at a Nvidia keynote in Paris, where she, yes, Greg, is a little girl, showed off her ability to walk, jump, and even taking photos of everyone. And the best part is she learned all that in a simulated environment. Now imagine the baby is born and can walk and run within the first five minutes because they've already learned how to do all that. This sounds a little fantastical and I read the white paper on this technology and here is likely what actually happened. So NVIDIA has been working on this technology for a while. The most substantial white paper I found is from 2021. So in this white paper, they described exactly how they conducted training, including starting from ant, moving to humanoids, and moving all the way to quadruped dog-like robots. And their conclusion is using the NVIDIA GPUs, which are NVIDIA's bread and butter, these trainings can happen incredibly fast. Therefore, simulating environments are becoming a practical way for robots to learn. Now, here are some real limitations that other scientists have found. For example, this work shows that the simulated environments really struggle with elastic interaction and collision, meaning no bouncy house for robots. And this other work that's done in this year points out that because of the limitations that's built into platforms like this, they often only allow pinhole camera model, which means if you have a depth camera on an RGB camera, they, they are just kind of useless. And this is a real issue for robots because most robot platforms allow multiple forms of input and multiple types of camera to ensure that robots can operate reliably in versatile environments. Well, these are just some of the more fundamental and obvious limitations that we found. In general, our take on this is flashy robot demos are everywhere nowadays and we've got to keep in mind that these are passive demos, meaning we are being shown a interaction or a situation and the truth behind these robot demos are almost certainly much more messy and wobbly.